Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nerds Layer. I'm your host, El Juancho, joined by the lovable J Money. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm quite well. And uh, the return of Emperor Dragon, aka John, the Hello, kaiju folks. expert. How you been lately, man? We haven't seen you since, like, what, Godzilla? We were talking about the Godzilla and Kong trailer. We, yeah, we talked during the Super Bowl tra- when the Super Bowl trailers were releasing. Yeah, yeah, it's quite a while, man. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty crazy. Yeah, fun movie too. It's it been a lot of good movies this year. Yeah, it's... Mm-hmm. but we're here to talk about a particular movie. Mm-hmm. Deadpool and Wolverine, folks. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Yeah, let's yeah. go. I can't kiss <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, I guess I can just start us off, uh, it was great, mm. the, the, the near perfect movie going experience, like, it's everything I wanted out of a Deadpool and Wolverine movie, pretty much, like, I'm still trying to wrap, but like, I've seen it three times, but I'm wrapping my head around it, like, I really can't find a lot of negatives. No matter how hard I try, I really can't. It's just, it was just so much fun that it outweighed anything that I might even like consider mediocre. Mm. But that, yeah, no, it's just it's a blast. The performers are great. The joke <laughs> hit for the most part, you know. <laughs> and the way they used fuck <laughs> over one hundred eighteen times. Yeah, that's that's a new one. That's a record. Yeah, that, that is. A... <laughs> Excuse that, me. That's yeah. Something about baffling, Jay. What are your first impressions? Man, I might say this is probably a perfect comic book movie because they have everything a fan would want. It's a, it's a true comic book movie. Yeah, like it embraces it. Yeah, yeah. It has a good story. It has good characters. It has cameos if you want that. It has a somewhat good villain. Like she isn't the best villain, but like, but well, it served the story well. Like, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. in in terms of story, she fit and it was good. Or the fight scenes, the comedy, like it exceeded my expectations way off the charts. Mm. And I I still can't get my I still can't get some things from that movie out of my head. <laughs> music being one of them. <laughs> yeah, the music, um the characters, um the <laughs> intro, the intro I'll be thinking about a lot too. Bye 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 yeah. bye. Yeah, and like it, it's just I I would say near perfect or perfect. Yeah, Jonna, you you're actually the first person who texted me. I'm like really hyping this up. Tell the people well, what are your first impressions. At first, I wasn't expecting much, but holy shit, that this movie really blew my blow me away this is what marvel movies should be like like bringing it you bring people in all the fans everyone's cheering laughing and having a good time that's what marvel's been missing these past few movies and with deadpool they finally brought it back i saw i saw this on opening i saw an early screening of this film of this film with my dad and well both my parents to be honest and they loved it too. We were just laughing and cheering, except for fun- one funny thing happened. We actually our theater had a power outage during when we were like, like halfway through the movie. Oof. That was because of a th- it was a thunderstorm in the area. It knocked off the power, and we had everything had to reboot. But once the power came back on, they kind of re. They, they did rewind back to where we left off, and we continued on. So, minor 
minor pro- technical problems aside, this movie was freaking awesome. Yeah. I loved it. The yeah. characters, the action scenes, especially seeing Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> And not to mention the best part for me, Deadpool dancing to Bye 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 while beating the TVA with Wolverine's bones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Spoilers, guys. Spoilers. We're, we're going to just go through this, through the void here. And also, we're going to be unfiltered, so a lot of swearing. Sorry. <laughs> we're not sorry, actually. This is Deadpool. Yeah, it's Deadpool, so... Yeah. Why can't you do? I, I think the outage might have been due to the power of Madonna, the, the epic <laughs> orchestrated version in the movie. Life's a mystery. Dude, can I just start with that? Like, just start with our pause. Like, how epic was that scene? Like, like you knew it was the cliche. Like, Deadpool was gonna be like, "Oh, you know, I'm the one who has to do it." And then, like, you know, he's out there reaching his hand, and you knew he was gonna grab his hand. But when it did, oh my god. And then, like, him saying, like, you know, I'm proud to be an X-Men. <clears throat> and yeah. how, and this, emphasis, this movie, to me, I feel like it does a lot for, like, showing you, you know, Wade really loves Vanessa. Usually, I, I can care less about, you know, comic book movie relationships, but... Yeah, no, this... And Hugh Jackman, he's Wolverine, like, you can't... He is the Wolverine. Like... He has not missed a single beat from Logan. Yeah. You could say he's better here. I I don't even think anyone would argue he's better here. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people say, like, this is his best performance as Wolverine. They're similar yet different, which is kind of interesting. Like, you know, similar premise. Hey, they both, you know, they failed the X-Men. They both you know, are having drinking problems. They're both, like... But at the same time, they're not the same, like... Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, we we can go through it. But, yeah, Hugh Jackman was great. Ryan Reynolds, obviously, he's... Fantastic, as it? Fantastic, yeah. as always. And hilariously funny. The fight scenes only. Like, you mentioned the TVA one. Uh, the first time they battled... The car scene... That is, it was both badass and funny. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, by the way, did you know in the car scene when ba- when bang when they were banging the head on the radio, there's music playing. Two of those songs are actually from The Greatest Showman, which Hugh Jackman also starred in. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, um, it, it's funny because my sister, she nudged me and she's like, "That's like," um, she said the character's name. I forgot his name, but P.T. He- Barnum. Yeah. She was like, that's the greatest show, man. And yeah, my- it was <laughs> right before she hit his head. And when they played, this is the great. She was <gasps> because she wasn't actually expecting them to put that song in the movie. And it was like a minute. Of, like she had said, look, it's the greatest show, man. A minute before that part happened. So she like, that was like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> Their chemistry, it's right out of the comics. You Usually I'm all about, oh, you don't have to you know, adapt everything. But it's just like when I think Wolverine and Deadpool, I just, that's what I think. This movie's a perfect example. It's like, you know, you got Deadpool, like the, the comic relief, you know, obviously he's, he's you know, <laughs> going through his own issues, but he hides it with his comedy. And then you got Wolverine who just straight up does not give a flying. Like he, he'll roast you. Like Jay and I were, been talking about the car scene like right before they fight he's just he's cooking him he's like you know what are you thinking he's like uh we couldn't shut your mouth shut shut your mouth bob no he well yeah before that though he's like uh he's like you can't say you're you're a liar you know what you're like you can't save the world heck you couldn't save your relationship with a goddamn stripper Uh, (laughs) i'd say you should die alone but that'd be a joke Cause you, cause you can't die. It's like, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's actually like one of the parts where you actually see Deadpool not say a single word. Like that, it's funny. Yeah. Uh, I, saw, I saw someone say you could hear a pin drop in the theater after he said that. And that is true. 
Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? I'm gonna fight you. Yeah, yeah. Like it was just you. quiet. And, and then he played out. Like he, like, he just, like, just laughed you, dude. When he laughed you, it wasn't Wolverine. Like, it was Hugh Jackman laughing. Yeah, like that was a genuine Hugh Jackman laugh. He's like, you're gonna fight me. Yeah, that snort and then just a straight. I was like, oh. That was very reminiscent when uh, X-23 punched him. Yeah. Who we'll, we'll touch on later. But <laughs> but what's it called? Um, yeah, no, I'm... The the action scenes, the especially the one where the... What, what do you even call it? The, the resistance? The, the re- rebellion? Yeah, the resist- yeah. resistance. Wait, Basically, this- people, uh, for, for those of you who... Well, spoilers right ahead. Because yeah. they pull it... Deadpool and Wolverine are were basically sucked into like this world called the Void, was it? Yeah, yeah the yeah. Void. Yeah, that's because Deadpool is refusing Deadpool's timeline is dying because Wolverine is apparently a key figure, was it? Yeah, anchor being. Anchor being. And yeah, he's an anchor being for the for the for his universe as a whole as a whole. And without an anchor being, your world begins to die. So <laughs> Deadpool has to find a new wo- Wolverine, and he gets pulled in by, believe it or not, the TVMA from Loki. Yep, and, TVA. <laughs> and as much as I was expecting a Miss Minute cameo from somewhere along the way, we unfortunately do not get Terra Strong doing Make it doing a voice work for that cl- for that stinking clock. <laughs> well, hi. Oh. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> that dude, that jump scare still gets me every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also when he was in the TBA, um, he gets his new suit, and it also gets. I am Marvel Jesus. Yeah, By the he, way, he, that, that, his tailor had a little too much. He had a little yeah. too much fun there. They, when he gets his new suit, he gets a little, gets a little uh, surprise from the tailor, which he straight up just calls him a, a PDF. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because he smacked his ass like 15 different times. <laughs> <laughs> just leave it to Deadpool to make smacking an ass look funny. <laughs> my, my favorite running joke was, well, I forgot, I don't think they named him. It was that guy. He every like the. Oh yeah, the when he first got the suit, he just like he just like was it ah when I heard yeah. that one. and then when that Wolverine was shirtless, it's just like oh. <laughs> it was the desk worker. He said, "Who? Are you, what are you doing? Calling your wife, telling her that you're leaving her for me." It's like I mean, you calling each other. Does your wife work at HR? <laughs> yeah, he said, I'm in HR. Does your work, wife work for HR? Then gets pruned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what about you? Anyway, guys, like, uh, start with you, John. Uh, any like positive things that really stood out? Like, well, I was just gonna point out another funny thing. Even though Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds saying that this movie would not mock Logan in, in a way, they still found a way to mock Logan. Because I knew it was coming up for Wolverine trying to dig. With Deadpool taking up Logan's grave at the end, they it's literally the same grave with the X with the X mark grave on it, and and this is where, like we said, this is where Deadpool swears a lot. Why your mother, yo, face up, and just talk him talking with Logan's dead metal skeleton. He's like, yeah, you look pretty dead to me. <laughs> yeah, he said, like, yeah, you're dead. Oh. Hey, okay, I am calm. Very, very freaking calm. Brings me so <laughs> And then, of course, that's when the bye 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 comes in. Yeah. And then he fights the TVA with Logan's bones. Who else thought that scene of him using Logan's, cl- like shedding up Lo- Logan's claws, was was an awesome shot right there? Yeah, like the the title oh. card was crazy. He just has his bones. He does the pose. 
and then you just see Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> Now that's a now that's how you do a title shot right there. Yeah. yeah. How about you, you Janie? Any, any other positives? Oh man, I I can go on and on with positives, but I just say one. The choreography. In, um, I'm I'm talking it's about bye. Dead, it's bye bye bye. <laughs> yeah, bye bye bye. But then also, um, versus the Deadpool core, that. Yeah. Oh that, boy, that bus thing gave me Shang Chi vibes. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. it straight up gave me Shang Chi vibes. But like, the more I look at that scene, the more I see stuff that I wouldn't expect to see. Like Wolverine full mounting a Deadpool, stabs him, and then just decides to pick up his hands with his guns in him and shoot the de- um the Deadpool in the face. I was about to say Daredevil. <laughs> nice, you mean nice, you mean nice pool. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and and also what they well, did. just for a nice pool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he said, "Oh, you could do fourth wallers." I the proposal. The, the proposal. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he says, "I hey, do." Dude, no one. <laughs> it's just metal jokes, like, bro. So, bro's like, what's it called, um? So he takes him right. He's like, uh, he's like, you did that on purpose. Like, he's like, you did that on purpose. Wolverine's like, you tell him, like, no, I did not. And then he's like, he covered me. And then he's like, why are you stopping? He's like, I- I'm, I'm paralyzed. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, we all have. Oh, <laughs> come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah. He's like, stay with me. I'm gonna live. Blows up and. <laughs> then, I was dead. By the wow, dog pool, and then like Wolverine just did that scene alone. That always got the body. Oh, dog pool. Oh, he's dog just carrying pool. him. Yeah, guaranteed to make all the dog lovers scream in awe. Aww. No, you mentioned the bus scene or the whole like Deadpool core scene. It's uh, when uh, what's the it called? Multiverse the multiverse of the multiverse of Deadpools. There's this like <laughs> quick shot when uh, I think right before they get to the bus, like uh, you see a shot of all the Deadpools like going towards Wolverine and I just call him Deadpool <laughs> Prime. They, they go towards him and then like. You see, like, Wolverine pushing Deadpool as he's, like, sliced. <laughs> yeah. That, that has to be a highlight. And then, like, yeah. Yeah. I will I will also say, actually, here's a little fun fact. In the, a few, there were a few familiar act. There was, uh, Ryan Reynolds' wife was Lady Pool, believe it or not. <laughs> Yeah, she did the voice. Oh yeah, Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey, Matthew McConaughey as yeah. Western as Cowboy Deadpool. Yeah. And and that in the kid pool, that's one of Ryan Reynolds' kids. Yeah, yeah I think it was his daughter. And also, Baby Pool was also one of his kids. I didn't know that until yesterday. <laughs> I yeah. didn't know that until I looked it up on the internet. Yeah, I didn't know um, Baby Pool was actually his youngest kid. And it was going through all the cameos of the movie, and it said, "Kid Pool and Baby Pool are both his kids." And I was like, "The baby too? <laughs> <laughs> the baby was actual kid." So basically, Deadpool's Ryan Reynolds is fighting his wife and his children. <laughs> He's like family in that scene. What did he say at first? There was a line he said, "Uh, oh yeah, when the." Uh... If even Blake Lively, he, um, what's cool? It was when uh, they escaped the, the, what's it called? Uh, I guess it's just Cassandra's lair. I'm just going to call it that. The, mm-hmm. I think, by the way, I think that was Sentinel Leg. I'm pretty sure oh. that was Sentinel Leg. I could, I could be wrong. In the comments, you guys, comments, you guys correct me, but they escaped through whatever the leg, the jet, whatever field thing you it's, it's, uh, they escaped through a portal by a do- alternate Doctor Strange ring. No, no, no! Before the earlier, when they first escaped, they oh. uh, they they land outside the restaurant, and then like it was really quickly, like Wolverine landed on top of the uh, of Wolverine, and then he was like, he's like, well, give me a second, give me a second. Like, well, what do you mean? They're just almost there. He's like, well, what are you talking about? He's like, I'm getting my knife out of your butt. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then later he he says like, oh, I'm gonna tell Blake. <laughs> oh yeah. And then yeah. also, um, when he right before he started fighting with uh, Deadpool skeleton, he said, "There's 206 bones in body, 
two hundred seven if I'm watching Gossip Girls. <laughs> I believe acted in Gossip Girls. Didn't know. <laughs> never watched Gossip Girls. Never. Neither did I. But yeah. still, I kind of find that hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you. But uh, one of my other favorites is when Deadpool is searching for another Wolverine. He goes into these different universes, oh. to all these different Wolverines. First, the first one he does is what he calls a co- the comic accurate wool sized Wolverine. <laughs> it's Hugh Jackman just short. <laughs> Hugh Jackman is just short, like the actual Wolverine in the comic. Now the comic fans can't complain. Yeah. It, second, there. It, then there's a there's Wolverine from a Hulk versus Wolf, Hulk versus Wolverine. John Byrne. Was that a was that a, was that a actual comic that happened? Oh that yeah. Happened? That, that yeah, was, yeah. All of them are inspired. Yeah, yeah. I I know. There's a pat. There's also Patch, Wolverine's one eyed counterpart. Yeah. There's the and Age there's of Apocalypse. The one, then there's the one hanging on the X, which is supposed to be a reference to the Uncanny X Men, one, one of the co- one of the covers of him. And then, of course, the biggest one I did not know for the first time, but Henry freaking Cavill as Wolverine. Oh yeah, people, you heard that right. You heard yes, Superman himself was pl- played Wolverine in a cameo. Yeah, and, and he also did his iconic arm reload from Mission Impossible. If <laughs> you didn't catch that, <laughs> yeah. you can tell you can tell he had fun with it. More fun than he had with Superman, but <laughs> yeah, even if it was for a short time. <laughs> yeah. By the way, that job he made at DC, like this, just feels right, and I know they're gonna treat you better. Than them. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna treat you better than them. Asshole down the street. Asshole down the street. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then uh, what's it called? The uh, oh yeah, there was the Age of Apocalypse one. Yeah, and also Old Man Logan. Oh yeah, yeah Old, Old Man, Man Logan. Logan. Old Man Logan. I what, By the way, which yeah. uh, doesn't doesn't the Logan in the Logan movie sp- supposed to be like Old Man Logan a bit? It, yeah, it's, it's inspired. Uh, yeah, it's inspired by Old Man Logan, but um, in that little. That little cameo thing, that little montage, they showed a comic accurate old man Logan in his yeah. act. Um, all that, the whole getup. By the way, it's not, it's not, I know. I just like when I saw that Logan, I just thought I just thought of Clint Eastwood. Like, damn, I want that Clint Eastwood as does old man re- Logan. Yeah. <laughs> think of it, it does kind of remind me. It kind of does remind you of Clint Eastwood a bit. Maybe Secret Wars, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Take her wars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and what else? Now, now into the not so fun stuff. What are what are some things you could have you guys thought they could have done better? Things you guys didn't really vibe with. Start with you, John. Uh, things that they could have done. Uh, it's hard to tell. It's yeah. kind of hard to tell, really, because well, I'm freaking loving this movie. Freaking loving this movie. But if there is one thing I would do, uh, let's see. Uh, what is what is it? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, okay, I'm losing my. I lost my third train of thought. I got, I got nothing. Not, Wancho, would you like to? T- would you like to go ahead? I have a few. Someone's more continuity one where I was talking with Jay. We, we can go more to that, in, uh, you know, part two. But well, I don't want like because I don't know. I I thought it was a good villain. Sort of the plot well. I think her switch. Once she entered, uh, was it what was the Earth that pool was again? One six zero zero zero, or oh, yeah, it's, um, 10,005. That, that's what I just call it. I just I think because you know, it was a good motivation, too. It's like, oh, you know, all I know is the void, I'm actually happy here. Okay, like, yeah, yeah, I think that, yeah, okay, I think 
And then yeah. you get here now, and you just want to destroy the whole multiverse, like, huh? It's like, <laughs> it, there wasn't enough, like, there to just kind of make it instant, like. I guess you can say paradox too. You can just say he's like the stereotypical, like, oh, I I want to, you know, do this behind my company's back kind of deal. Like, he we didn't really know why he wanted to like. Paradox was also pretty much a lame villain. Yeah, he was, <laughs> who was, was the actor's name? He was funny too. He was great, but just who is Paradox in the comics anyway? Pretty much the same guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know much about Paradox. I just from the comic. I will... but... One thing I also say: I wish they could have made the Sabretooth fight a bit more longer, though. I mean, we've waited a long time to see a, another Wolverine Sabretooth fight. It was almost just brief, <coughs> briefly cut bit short when, with just one sw- quick swipe of the claws, and poof, he's cut in half. Can, uh, can Sabretooth, do you guys know, Jay, do you know if Sabretooth in the comics can regenerate? Uh, I don't remember exactly. It's been a while since I actually saw an X-Men actually did anything X-Men related so yeah Saber- so I need to recheck I need to go recheck on that Sabretooth has a healing factor it's just as um like as impressive as Wolverine's but I mean once you cut off his head he's not regrowing that back <laughs> like oh, no yeah, yeah, look Look pretty dead. Yeah, like that. That's the one problem. He's not like Deadpool, and also, I mean, Wolverine. You really can't cut off his head because the animantium is just too strong. Yeah. yeah. So unless like, the animantium is poisonous, then that would make one that be make a re- good reason why either Wolverine or Deadpool, Wolverine or Sabretooth would die. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, but how about you? Um, how about you, Jay? Any any negatives or things that you could they could have done better? Uh, I just got two, but one of them. I mean, like I don't really mind it that much. But this one, I wish they would have just told us why X twenty three. The same one from Logan got pruned. I I just wish they would have told us that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. That's like the one. On one, I on one hand, I'm glad. I'm glad they got the original actress who played X twenty three and Logan to come back. Yeah, Daphne Keen. Yeah. yeah, she was like, uh, how old was she when she first appeared in Logan? Like seven years like ago. Like I think 12. she was like. A kid or something? Twelve. Now she looks like yeah. Now she's a young adult or teenager or something like that. Yeah. She and yes, X twenty three did does grow up in the comics. But you know what's good that you point out, Jay? Like almost everyone there the you know, the three others who we'll touch on soon. They all Uh, said why. Or they all pretty much like, you know. Yeah, they, they, they at least alluded to why they got pruned, but she never addressed that. Yeah, she just said, like, what everyone else did. Yeah, she walked out the door, and she just ended up there, but she never explained what she did. But yeah. we did somewhat know what happened to the others. But my other negative, which this is the one that I'm not really too big on because it's just crazy, and we haven't even t- touched about him, talked about him. I wish we would have got more Chris Evans, Johnny Storm. <laughs> oh, of course. I wish we would have got more of him. They knew what they were doing with the budget. Yeah, they, yeah. they, knew what they were doing. <laughs> but I'm like not mad. That I'm not that mad about it. But I'm like, damn, he was he was so funny, and it it's funny about him. Well, he, we saw another scene with him, so. Who else thought ble- who else thought he was Captain America the first time around? Because that's what my dad first thought. 
thought of when he first saw Chris Evans. I've been I've been theorizing we we'd see Human Torch in either this or Secret Wars, and I saw him, and then I was like, it can't be him. But then I noticed they did something sneaky. I feel like that's who was designed to kind of look like Caps, and he was oh, wearing yeah. like the red kind of yeah the red like wrists yeah like gloves I'd say. That was definitely a a like throw off. That that was to <laughs> throw people. I I will also admit the the post credit scene at the end, at the end where Deadpool's like, you know, I am freaking tired of pe of people saying that I killed St- I killed Johnny. But let me sh- let's watch the cam, and he, it shows Chris Evans literally just saying exactly what Deadpool was telling his, Charles's sister. I'm gonna. F- like you in the ass or whatever. <laughs> and then after the clip, Temple's walk away. He's like, "Gotcha, fuck face." Yeah. I do have a. No- it's not even a negative. It's more of a curious thing. So like we we always saw Deadpool too. He's you know going through timelines, whatever, preventing the deaths, killing Ryan Reynolds for making Green Lantern. You yeah. Know, you know, baby killing Hitler, is, all that stuff. Killing his fake counterpart. I'm just calling the fake counterpart now with the t- sealed mouth shut. <laughs> yeah, he killed X Men Origins. There's one though that and this was it was a good cameo too. Happy Hogan. Ah, uh, yeah. How did? Because they they've been pretty firm, and I'm all I'm all about like, you know, these rules you have. I'm about sticking to them, but how did? How did he know how to get there? How did Maybe. he know? Like, Maybe Cable's time tur- turner still. Yeah, and... I was gonna say, I would just um, imagine it was <laughs> because I mean, Cable is a interdimensional um, traveler. Like he can travel through different universes, but he is some. He is most of the time restricted to six one six. So maybe Deadpool. Um, like got it there. That, he, he, it shows he kind of already knew about the Avengers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe this will be answered later, but also like, what's it called um? Does that? I'm trying to think of the, because you also gotta think about. Oh well, you know, in Loki season one, they set up. Oh, now the multiverse is open. Yes. But he's already. So it... I don't know. I'm probably overthinking it. I mean, if it's a Deadpool character <laughs> to do that, something like that too. <laughs> like he'd be the kind of person just to travel the multiverse just to join the Avengers. Mm-hmm. So I'm not. I'm not bad about. It. I'm just curious. Like how? Did... But how? How funny was that scene? He's just like, oh yeah, I was. What's it called? The uh, with the whole cans. Yeah. You... Yeah. <laughs> speaking of which, speaking of Deadpool two, there's one other detail I didn't notice. I didn't notice at first, but in Deadpool's party, you know, when everyone's selling his birthday party, we see one. That it turned out there is one other X Force member that did survive. Well, at least from when Deadpool used the time turner again, and that's Shatterstone. Shatterstar. Oh, yeah, Jay's boy, uh, Cole. Yep. Who originally got shredded in a helicopter. So I guess, so I'm guessing we didn't see this soft, but when Deadpool did use the time turner to go back in time, we seen, I mean, we see how he saves Peter, obvi- obviously, because Peter still appears in this movie too, by the way, as a car salesman. <laughs> He's the goat. But then he also, that means he also saved Shatterstar, probably for the joke that he could still, to, to, for Deadpool to still prove that he's still the best. <laughs> That's my only reason for think, for the reason why they brought Shatterstar back. Also, it's just funny when, uh, when what's it called, uh, Happy's telling about the Avengers, like, you know, we, and he's like, whoa, whoa hold on. Yeah. You said, uh, we, as in you're part of the team. So you know, I've been like Avengers adjacent. <laughs> yeah. He said, "What's your what's your superpower? Parallel parking? 
sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dusty had me crying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I tend, to, I tend to be mean to people when I'm nervous. <laughs> Hey, don't, don't write that down, please. <laughs> when we talk about X Force, I would just, yeah, yeah. Like that, that, that also still gets me some power. Parallel Park. Oh, oh yeah. wow, <laughs> that's a new one. <laughs> that is a new one. Maybe Deadpool did break the multiverse. <laughs> we just thought it was King. Oh yeah, yeah. bro, it, bro, it was him. <laughs> and oh yeah, remember how he keeps. That running gag of him saying he's dying, he's like dying in Thor's arms, and he, he yeah. just <laughs> and he just picking up and random like saying Thor. Yeah, we we have that has to be from Secret Wars because like they kept teasing like, oh, you have a purpose in the future. Like, ooh, what are they? Well, let's just I guess let's just go ahead and start about talking about Easter eggs and cameos and stuff because I guess we just start with that like. Um, how funny was that too? I know that was like repurposed footage from was it Dark World? Yeah, I think it was Dark World. Yeah, <laughs> but like he's just like half his mask, he's just like grabbing Thor's face. <laughs> huh? <laughs> it was so confusing and funny. I was like, why? Why is he? And then, and then like Paradox, no, 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 wait, he's not supposed to see that yet. He's not. And then it was like, hey, 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 no, why did I? Why was I dying in Thor's arms? <laughs> Why is Thor crying? Yeah, why is Thor, Thor crying? crying? Yeah. That oh, we still... I guess we can just go ahead and talk about the, the cameos we got. Oh, well, obviously... yeah. Obviously so we got like, Cassandra and, uh, you know, her mutants. You know, we got Pyro, Toad, uh, Deathstrike, and... Uh, we Jugada. do have Colossus. We got Colossus and the rest, some other Deadpool, familiar Deadpool faces we've seen before in the previous movies. Which I also, want to touch on Colossus party. later. Yeah, the party. I was, was cool. Blind. <laughs> and, and that little joke about Feige. <laughs> <laughs> and but what's f- it called? Uh, but the, the cameos. Holy. So we got Jennifer Garner back as Electra. Oh, uh, yes. Electra. And who could oh, forget? Wait, she's as beautiful as always. Anyway, uh, yeah. Day, beautiful. Yeah. And then, of course, the best. And I didn't expect this at first either. And Tad, and Tad was so surprised too when he saw this. Wesley Snipes is back as Blade. Oh, yeah. And it, fun fact at the time, I was just starting to get into the Blade into the Blade movies. Ted had introduced me to Blade when we watched the first Wesley Snipe movie, and I loved it. <laughs> so seeing him back really got really got everyone hyped. <laughs> yeah. So I touched on the uh, Gardner's Electra. John touched on the uh, Wesley Snipes as Blade. Jay, who was the third one? The third one? Near and dear to my heart. Channing Tatum's Gambit. Yeah, from the <laughs> movie Gambit that never got made. Gambit? So who is Gambit? Is he like a magician? No, nah, he's French. Oh. But why does he use cards? <laughs> Magnetic energy. He yeah, makes him go boom. It, it's, <laughs> his, it's his power. Who, who the fuck wrote your dialogue? The minions? Yeah. That, that's... <laughs> That line will got me crying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because Channing Tatum's always talking talking these weird way, hey, that Deadpool can't understand what he's saying. <laughs> That's still the freaking... <laughs> it made me laugh, especially the minion joke. <laughs> and uh, what's it called? Uh... And then finally, oh, we... finally yeah. we have from, Lo- from Logan, Laura. Yeah, which, uh, we mentioned we about, which we've already talked about before, and ag- and I agree. Why we really should have gotten a reason to why Laura was dr- was beamed out of existence. Personally, I wish they would have showed her. I feel like it would have had a more impact if they would have showed her in the trailers. Yeah, that would have been even cool because Laura's story was there was a great potential for a. If they were going to continue on with an X Men story with the New Mutants, that would have been pre- 
that would have been pretty amazing to see uh, Laura, see Laura and the other mutants arriving at par the paradise that they were all trying to get to in the first place. Sorry, got a phone call. Sorry, no worries, Jake. Anyway, we were just talking about I, Jay. We were just talking. We were think. I think it would have been interesting if if we did have a continuation of this X Men of the X Men timeline where Laura and the New Mutants arrive in the par paradise and to see where how the story would go from there. I think that would have been a pretty in interesting take on where it would go. Way better than the other New Mutants movie we got. That was just so stupid in comparison. I never saw the new mutant, so I mean, I don't have consider to... yourself lucky. It ain't that bad. I know someone here, well, uh, another person we might know is in front of him, but but yeah, Jay, uh, what do you think of uh, you know, Laura coming back? I it was it was written in the trailers. I was telling John right, I was written in the trailers, like. I feel like it would have had a more impact. See, see that that's what I'm saying. It had more impact for me because I didn't watch the trailer. I heard someone popped up, but I didn't watch it, and I never knew who it was. But when I saw her, I was astonished. And, and then, they have the same music. Yeah, yeah. And then come to find out, she did confirm it is her from Logan. So that's why it was like my little negative because it's like, why did she get pruned? But other than that, her coming back was crazy. And it was also the scene at the fireplace, which was very, um, very touching. It was a great scene. Yeah. Yeah, hard to, hard to touching. Yeah, and then, like, we finally figure out what happened to that Wolverine's X-Men. Why, um... Oh, excuse me. We find out what happened to them, why he's so hard on himself, and stuff like that. And it, it was just a great scene. Yeah, that was a... Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. I like when she tells him, uh... He's like, oh, I'm I'm the wrong guy or whatever. She's like, you're always the wrong guy. And then like until you weren't like, yeah, so good. And then her also sewing juggernaut. Oh, that the old juggernaut. Uh, I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Calls him a, a pendejo. <laughs> yeah, like that. That was that was. Oh, she wore the glasses from Logan. <laughs> yeah, she did. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. But but I think one of my favorites but with Blade is that he when he's on the rocket when he's holding that rocket launcher and he's like there's only one blade and that's all there's ever going to be. That poor just looks and yeah, that little just look at the camera. You see that that's one positive I have about the movie too. They obviously let us know we know the problems that you guys are saying. You guys aren't being ignored. We're listening. And I feel like from this movie on, they're going to try to improve that. Because even when um, Wolverine was there, he said, yeah, you're kind of joint. You're kind of joining at a low point. They're, they're straight up getting meta and they're commenting on the little down downhill um they've had uh, downhill production of the reboot blade well that but also just like talking about all the movies in general like how they're not doing as well and like they're not getting well received uh yes because yeah, that's so, like, the that was the problem i had with most of the other marvel films before this one Stop going to them because they weren't bringing the same charm as they, as they did before. This is what Marvel movies should be like. Entertaining and fun. Not trying to push any messages of some sort. Yeah, this was a blast. Start to finish. 
by the way, there's one other thing I want to talk about. Am I the only one who was was very happy to see Wolverine with a cow with a with a classic cowl on his face? I was gonna mention that earlier. <laughs> I was gonna mention that when I was bringing up the uh, the whole Deadpool core fight, just because I did something in the theater when Wolverine put the cowl on, I started clapping, and the entire what happened to me too. Yeah, the entire theater started clapping after I started. I was like, "Oh shoot!" I made the theater clap. <laughs> I was like, let's go. Yeah, I tell the you, music this, that, that, that look held yeah. a held a very special to me because that's the Wolverine I've always known. I always known. So, and why they he didn't wear that in the other X Men movies was a was one mi- big mystery to me. Like, what? What's wrong with the cow? Ca- with the cow? That's a that's a classic look for him. Why skip it? Yeah. So when he finally put, like you said, JJ, when when Wolverine finally puts that cowl in his face, all my the all the theater just started cla- clapping and cheering because we finally see the Wolverine we wanted to see. Yeah. Well, oh yeah, what's another scene when uh, he says, uh, "Oh yeah, I've been wearing this like with the wig the, this whole time, just as a salesman," and he's like. But nobody knows that Wolverine just loses like everybody knows. Everybody knows, but he starts bagging up at him. Dude, I was, it was just so wild too, bro. Just like chug the fucking rubby alcohol and Wolverine's like, yeah, fuck that liver. Mm-hmm. Oh, how funny was <laughs> when he, Wolverine's like, you know, talking about whatever. He's like, he's like, uh, what did he say? Oh, yeah, he's like, I don't know what he says exactly, but he says, uh, what were we just like, are you going to check for ADHD? He's like, uh-uh. He's like, you have such confidence. And then later he's like, but I did have STD. He's like, what the? <laughs> Wolverine has no filter. It's like, or yeah. Deadpool and Wolverine, to be exact. Yeah, they no filter at all. Yeah. But Wolverine oh, had morals. He had morals. Yeah. Paul Rudd finally aged. <laughs> that was another funny one. I love it. I love that Ant Man oh. face. Lias from season one, uh, for Loki season one, episode five. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. That was. Dude, that, that just makes me wonder how big is the void? Like, it's infinite, pretty much. Yeah. And who yeah. else could be there? Like, we, we got a Loki RV, we got a Deadpool core. It's basically- I you know I will admit, I will admit there was one thing I when we when Pyro guy was at the was at that diner that Deadpool and Wolverine briefly stopped at for food I I almost thought that was Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider um, if only if all, but yeah man could only dream. Oh man! If he was in there, he would have started tearing things up. <laughs> he would have started. He would have soloed Cassandra herself. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a miss. That would have been cool. I agree with you, Juan. This would. The void is so big. I. I'm just wondering who else could live inside that place. Uh, I was telling Juan this. I feel like just everything is there. So like movies. That never got a sequel, it's probably in there. So, Fan Four Sick, they're probably in there. The original Fantastic Four, they're in there. That was pretty much confirmed. Um, Electra, she's in there. Ben Affleck, he was there. Punisher, he was there. Wesley Snipes Blade, he's there. I feel like any, everybody that never got a sequel to a movie, they're now in there. Or they could be there. Yeah. And that's even basically... if this cage ghostwriter has potential to be there. Yeah, Borl yeah. could probably be there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He never got a sequel after um Spirit of Vengeance. He's probably in there. <laughs> yeah. or... Don't forget Jay, David Hasselhoff. Yeah, David Hasselhoff. Um Nick Fury. He's probably in there. Dolph Dolph Lundgren. Lundgren. <laughs> 
he's probably in there. Shoot, it probably wasn't even Thomas Jane Punisher's rocket launcher. It was probably his. <laughs> I'm joking. But, um, probably the old cap. Don't forget, there was a before Chris Evans. Yeah, or the one that had the bike. Yeah. Ugh. Like. Or Howard the Duck from the eighties. Oh. <laughs> like Howard the Duck. The void. They made it to where they could basically basically explain where all these heroes were, but then that's what I'm saying. It also left unanswered questions like Laura, Laura, why was she there? Like, how did she get pruned? But then all the other movies that never got a sequel, them being there would make sense because after their other movie, after their uh, last movie, their anchor being probably died, so they pruned that timeline. Mm. So it's probably there. And The Void, now thinking about it, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure it's just The Void. It's just infinite nothing. Yeah. That's, mm-hmm. that's probably why it's called The Void. It's just infinite nothingness. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, nothing lasts forever. That is true, sadly. It's a special message of the movie. Yeah. This could be, this could be the last time we see Wolverine. We'll play by Hugh Jackman. Well, well, they did say he. They signed. They. I think there was a. They did say he was confirmed that he's not being recast anytime soon. So, so we might see him back. Maybe who knows? I mean, there's a secret war, and he did say that with Logan. So, mm-hmm. where do you guys think? You know, I've been telling Jay what's great about this movie too. We can talk about a lot of stuff. There. Yeah, it, it does it. It's a really standalone project. You don't have to watch a lot of the other stuff, really. And you don't... I don't know. There's not really a sense of where it's going. But in a good way, like... Obviously, they keep alluding, oh, you know... You know, B-1... What's the name again? B-115? Yeah, Hunter B-115. Hunter B-115. She says, like, oh, I feel like you guys are going to be... Stay needed up. soon or something. It's like you know, tell he's ninety. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like quickly before we wrap it up, uh, where do you guys think uh, it goes from here? At least with Deadpool and Wolverine and all that. I would stuff. like to mention one other thing: the scene where life is a mystery is playing, and also when Deadpool and Wolverine are trying to stop this. You see, well, Mister Paradox is is built this time this like time ripper machine that supposedly erases timelines faster and Deadpool and Wolverine originally were fighting over who's going to sacrifice them, sacrifice themselves to stop the machine <laughs> there was it's just an argument between Shay hey, slamming the door and then <laughs> and then that awesome shot of them holding hands together while they're sharing the energy as they destroy as they destroy Cassandra <laughs> And Wolverine's entire top part of his suit. glasses off. Oh, I know Wolverine just looks at him and he just like nods. Yeah. Life is a mystery. Deadpool had his reaction. <laughs> that was the best awesome moment from on the movie I've ever seen. Yeah. God. How did you? How are you still alive? Yeah, with the power of friendship and Madonna. <laughs> and Madonna. <laughs> yeah. Like when he was like, he was like, you know, they, they were they were my friends and they died. They're heroes. Oh, yeah. But where do you guys think, uh, where do you guys think this goes moving forward? You know, the Deadpool and Wolverine. Well, I- well, I think Deadpool will eventually appear in Secret Wars. That's obviously te- they obviously teased that before with Thor and Deadpool, but but as of now, I'm not I don't not envisioning any other storyline, any kind of storyline right now. This movie kind of ended perfectly, ended perfectly, even for a Deadpool movie. 
I can just see Doomsday to see for worse. That's all I really see it going from there. Because, yeah, we didn't need, we didn't um, have any other storylines that they could fit. Like, they never, like, tried to make them fit and, like, show where they would go. So I think the only other option would be the everyone is here moment, Doomsday, Secret Wars. That's the only place I could see them being or yeah. that they can go. Yeah. I can see that. And I assume they, I don't, I don't know, like, they, with Wolverine, there's obviously the issue, oh, well, there can be two at the same timeline and be 100 be 15 said, mm-hmm. oh, well, you know, he shouldn't be anywhere near the timeline. So I assume he's gonna, they're gonna send him back there. Mm-hmm. I don't know where does this leave Laura, though? Is she just left there now? So I'm curious where that where that's gonna go. Man, keep, keep him in that yeah. unit. I did say before, I always did find it interesting if they did continue on with the story of Laura. But I'm still, yeah, that is still one of the big questions left. So, are all the people resistant still in the void? Why didn't they? never saw them. Why didn't, did they go back to their timelines? But did the TBA promise that the, that those people stuck, that those resistance will still, will go back to their original timelines? I'm still wondering that. I don't think they would have because the whole reason that they're there is because their timelines are dead. So I, if anything, I feel like they're in that universe. Either um, what was it? Is it is it ten um ten thousand five or is it six one six? Ten thousand five. I feel like they just went right there. Or like they just I, left them in the void. They just, yeah. You see, that, like, that's the thing. I won't see them. Like, if they put Laura with them, then I don't I don't think they would have left the others. Because I was also um, talking to my brother about this. I was like, oh, maybe Laura escaped because, you know, her healing factor, it didn't, or Elias couldn't, like, fully kill her. But then he brought up a good point. Eliot takes their, um, what's it called, temporal energy. So wherever they are, he basically rips them from existence, present, past, present, and future. Yeah. So if Laura is there, they're most likely alive. Yeah. So uh, I'm thinking they probably went into... Um, 10,005. That's where I, that's the only spot I could think. Because if they even let Laura stay there, and like, to be granted, yes, it is her universe, because she will be there later. Who's, who's to say that's not their universe either? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. We'll find out more soon, are we? Yeah. Yeah, well, this felt like the perfect guess farewell in a sense to the Fox movies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Did like you more catch... hate oh, sorry. oh, yeah. Speaking of Fox, <laughs> remember how in the remember how in the remember how in the fight when they double smashes into the Fox, he's like, "Rest in peace, Fox." <laughs> yeah. I st- I still I said this before in the Super Bowl trailer when we saw that thing. I still would have preferred a what kind of like what they did with Planet of the, what they did with Planet of the Apes when Temple should Temple should like see the fox. And he's like, "You maniacs, you destroyed it! Damn you to hell!" I still hold on to my saying, to my saying, and say that would have been an, actually a pretty funny, funny thing jab at Disney for destroying Fox. <laughs> but. Yeah, I think, but I think the like you said, Juancho, the it's a good, nice goodbye to the fox. 
I love how the end credits scene just showed like every behind the scenes of the all the X Men movies from Fox. Yeah, this Fantastic one. Four and Elektra, all that stuff. Yeah, that was a great tribute. Yeah, it's just it's done. Then, like you know, love him or hate him, those movies. I think we all here in, in this, you know, this panel of awesomeness, we can agree those movies are very important to comic book movies nowadays. Yeah, you know, especially X Men to be specific, like because he grew up with them. Well, no, not just that; it just like helped pave the way. Like, yeah, we grew up with them, and we found out a lot of those characters through those movies. But you know, X Men kind of helped. Like Blade, obviously, you know, people say Blade to help comic book movies. Yeah, but people didn't know that was a comic book movie, and then you got X Men. You know, that's when people started taking it seriously, and obviously, you got Spider Man and. and Chris Nolan's yep. Batman and stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then we were getting the J Buddy movie soon. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Currently filming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, before we wrap it up, give a score to John. What's your score and like your final thoughts? I'll give it a nap. I'll give it a nine out of ten. Best mo- it's a great summer movie, great summer movie, full of action, and a great comic book movie. It'd probably be one of the best comic book movies ever. Oh yeah, Jay. Ten out of ten. Like, like that's what I'm saying. It it charts off everything you want to see from a comic book movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to die 0.5 out of 10. You know, I... the great action performances, the laughs, the emotion, like, you know, die, stuff I never thought I'd see, like Johnny and Deadpool Wolverine just hanging out. Or like Blade and Wolverine in the same, like, see, like, you know, it's. Stuff like that, just the, the little stuff like holy shit, it's just mm-hmm. it, 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 it. <laughs> Yeah, that too I I mean the costume looks stupid, but it's good stupid in a good way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no definitely this is this is gonna be a movie it's, it's already doing far from great. Breaking more records, but yeah, no, this is a movie we're going to be talking about for a while. Indeed, yeah. You think it's one of the best movies of twenty twenty four by this by far? This is my personal favorite. Like, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, like Jace put it perfectly. It's what you want out of a comic book movie. It's a true comic book movie. Yeah, yeah off the boxes like you know yeah then like obviously talking about the fox fur like whoever died cried during you know a clip of fan four stick i never thought one but it just it signifies this movie was like made with love and whatnot and yeah yeah yep. Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, Sean Levi. oh yeah yeah they, they show you they care about comic book movies they don't they don't treat it as a joke. They're they're very passionate. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what they and that's what they should be doing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Save us that always man. But mm-hmm. what was that? I guess it just I'll wrap up part one of the discussion. Uh John, where can people find you? Thanks for joining again, man. Hey, of of course. I'm glad to join you guys. <laughs> Where can the people find you in the internet? You can fi- find me on fit. You can find me in the Culture Shock page. Follow my Discord, Emperor Dragon. Hell yeah! How are you? Uh, you know, J Buddy Pool. Oh, um, um, y'all can find me at J Money on Instagram. 
Yeah. Add the void. Don't forget the void. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The void. Yeah, you just there dude whipping the data. It's like, hey, we you get Elias attention. Like, okay. Now watch yeah. me whip the Elias. He's just doing the data. Yeah, he's going to be so stunned. He's just going to be looking at me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can follow me at Mario Juancho on Instagram. Um, yeah, anywhere. And follow Culture Shock anywhere. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time, especially part two. Stay tuned. Mark, see you later, everybody. Or, or it's up now. Go watch it now. I can't. Till next time. Peace. Peace out.